Hey, people. What's up? Yeah, it's a little early today, uh, David. A little bit early. We, uh, the Real AFM folks are, uh, are having a live stream from St. Jude's for charity, so I bumped my stream up a bit so that uh, I didn't conflict, because uh, St. Jude's is probably my favorite charity. Nothing more uncontroversially good than, like, saving little kids from cancer for free. So, uh, I will not get in their way. They start at four. Uh, I will, I should probably figure out how to get there so I can point you in that direction. Uh, FM. I think they call that a raid when you do it on Twitch. Let's see. Hmm. St. Jude, join us supporting this thing. Hey, Evan. David, Jesse, Barry, Tony, Becky, what up? What up? Man, this is, uh, this is actually some really impressive stuff. They've raised so far $169,000 for St. Jude, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, there's definitely a nose around here somewhere. He walked in and I don't know where he is. Clipsy sleeping in a sunbeam. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. It's a nice uh, 77 degrees. So I've just got the the window open. I should make sure the air conditioning is not hot. It is a little bit. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> All right. In the house, indeed. What up, Scott Ross? Laura, you're here early too. Awesome. Yeah, happy Pelican Hub Day, everybody. I, uh, I cleaned my dirty pelicans uh, in preparation. They are uh, currently drying out a bit. I'll have to remember to put those together and take them with me. Um, the Pelican Hub is today at 6.30, and that's out in Durham, so... It's not a bad idea to do this a little bit early. It gives me a little bit of time in between. Uh, before that, we have a bunch of stuff today, and also, like... New iPhones are supposed to be coming here in like the next hour or so, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yep, dirty birds indeed. Pelican miss. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's, uh, anyway, all kinds of reasons to go a little bit early today. So we'll do a little bit of early stuff and then uh, that's that. Now if I can figure out how to, how to like, um, I don't know, get their live stream. I don't really know how. Hey, the Pelican Hub get together in Durham, North Carolina. Oh, good, Carl. We'll see you there, man. Tommy said he would have ink samples. Bring your own vials. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I've got a bag of vials. I'm getting a little low. I do have my uh, my label maker over there. Uh, my friend Sandra's gonna have a couple of inks for me to, well, like six inks for me to try out. So that's cool. I actually just got home from the pool. A little bit red in the face from working out, I guess. No, oh, took a drive to write Notepads HQ. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it's on Twitch, Relay FM. Good. Thanks. I can't find anything about it on the Relay FM site, which should have it everywhere, right? Like, like that should be the thing that's on their site, but it is definitely not anything on their site at all, which is weird. So, uh, Twitch TV slash. Twitch.tv slash Relay FM. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good. Uh, we will, uh, I'll send people over there uh, at the end of this thing. So that's when it'll start. You need some baby carrots. That's solid choice. Solid choice. I just tossed a bunch of baby carrots that I meant to eat and then didn't eat, and they kind of went gross. I do have some popcorners, though. I don't have their lives. I have them anymore there, Evan. Mmm. So, I shouldn't have taken such a big bite when I knew I'd have to talk soon. Yeah. So, anyway, we have a bunch of stuff to show off today. Um, I got a bunch of ink in the mail. It's a big old box of ink. I have a new Franklin Christoph pin to show off. You're eating pop. <clears throat> You're eating popcorn. I'm eating popcorn errs. The kettle corn corn variety, which is absolutely the best as far as I've had. I've had two types. This is definitely the the better one. And it's quite ink. It's like six bottles. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening that up now. And then when Audrey gets in here, she's uh, uh, she was just finishing a workout, so she'll be in here in a little bit. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, uh, we'll talk about the new Franklin Christoph pen. So, let me move some things right quick. 
that save there. We'll put it over here. Let's switch to. Oh man, my I haven't figured out my desk audio yet. Uh, so I'm gonna switch over to my desk cam. You let me know if I have audio or not. Uh, do I have audio? Can y'all like hear me and stuff? It looks like people can hear me. Yes? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I figured that out. There's a little eyeball that I did not uh, I did not click before. I'm playing the one of the mighty letter openers. This is a Benchmade uh, uh, Contigo, in case you're a knife person or curious. <laughs> They're all lying. That's good. Hey, Phil, what's up? <laughs> I'm glad uh, I'm glad Phil can't hear me. Nobody Phil can't hear us, so we can just say whatever we want about Phil. I think is how that goes. Uh, let me turn this off. All right, all right. Big stabby thing. It is a big stabby thing. Oh hey Jim, I never paid you for that little stabby thing. Hit me on, up on DM. I forget I forgot what I forget what I'm supposed to owe you for that. So uh, let me. Uh, I've been enjoying it quite a lot, and I keep forgetting. Nice and peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, you come here for peace and quiet, right? All right. Let's see, we're gonna have like my, my name or address or anything come up in here. Nope. Good. All right. We have a fun little nib-shaped paperclip. That's always cool. All right, Jim. Shoot me your uh, shoot me your uh, your PayPal or whatever, bro, and I'll uh, I will shoot you that money post haste. Uh, there we go. A nice little note. This is from Birmingham Inc. That's where all these inks are from. Uh, I uh, yeah, I, I really like Birmingham inks. I just reviewed my first one on the channel, and it's real good. Hey, hey, Spain, what up? Feels like we're getting any peace and quiet soon. Oh yeah, you've got a little one on the way, man. Uh, let's see. Thanks so much for the opportunity in your business today, at Birmingham Birmingham Pink Company. Your package has been prepared with care by our small business team of three people. Man, that is not very many people. You're gonna love what's inside. Complete satisfaction is guaranteed, etc., etc. With gratitude, Nick. That's definitely like signed by a human person. Cool. <laughs> oh no, more Birmingham. Yeah, you definitely have. You definitely have. Also, like their ink is very inexpensive, and that's that's good stuff too. Um, packing stuff. Throw that over here. And uh, yeah, there you go. Six Birmingham ink bottles. These are very nice little boxes. I think my first set didn't come with boxes. In fact, I'm sure they didn't. So that's a nice little, nice little upgrade. At least it wasn't a Sailor Studio Addiction. Yeah, no, it hasn't become. I haven't done that yet. Uh, eventually, I might get into Sailor Studios. I've only got like two of those right now. Uh, but you got pencils in the mail. Well, I don't know. Not every day is a good day, Tony. There we go. There's those. All right, let me grab some word cards and we'll just go ahead and. Well, hi, Nose. What up? Oh, let's see. Where are my cards? Oh, I remember. That is the back of a nose right there. Grab some of these little guys here. That is a cat, indeed. The boxes are new. You need to order some once you get moved. Yeah, well. <laughs> or a Mont Blanc LE. So I did have a Mont Blanc LE addiction, uh, but they broke that addiction for me. They broke that addiction for me by uh, doubling the price of their ink, and I was like, I'm not that addicted. I just like it. Uh, nice cat. Yeah, thanks. Nose, can you move? I'm trying to do something there right now, bud. Would that be okay? What if you moved a little? Hmm? Would you like to move over here? Here-ish? Come on. Come on. Move over here. That's a good boy. Okay. So, oh, thanks, pal. He is giving me a cat hug. All right. So, get our ink swabbing materials out here. All right, first ink is. I do kind of wish that they said what they were on the outside. That's, uh, I'm going to have to put a sticker on them or something when I put them in my, my case. First one is Winter Garden Snowflake. Winter Garden 1914, the main hall of Pittsburgh's Exhibition Hall was covered, uh, converted to an ice skating rink called Winter Garden. That's fun. I like that they have a little bit of, um, oh, this one's made in Germany. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if my other ones are, are they? Let me see. Yeah, made in Germany. How about that? Anyway, are you verified, Matthew? Uh, what? 
Let's see. Nose, nice cat. No. <laughs> he did move. Then he ran away. Should just double the price of vape juice. Is how it works? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Drilling over the Mont Blanc LEDs. Yeah, um, don't vape the ink. I'm not gonna. Yeah, what's that check for? That's crazy. It's verified. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't even know what verified means. But that's cool. It means you're verified. Yeah, but on, on YouTube, though? I've never seen that before. You could be. Well, I can't. Uh, all right, so let's see what this looks like. What we got here? Um, yeah, there's a, here's coasters. There. All right, Audrey just came in. Yeah, you do hear an Audrey a little bit. YouTube messed up their verified roll-up. It's been, it's been amusing. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right. There we go. I kind of went heavy on the blues. I've got like, I think, three blues in here or something. Is that what I remember? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think so. I think this is the one I got because I had a suspicion it might look a little bit like, um, yeah, Spanish blue from Franklin Kristoff. And I think it does look a little bit like Spanish blue from Franklin Kristoff, so that's cool. Uh, I'm just going to, hmm, how am I going to deal with these? Because I can't write down what they are, unfortunately. Blue is the only color you need anyway. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'm just going to put them over here and put the bottle next to them. All right. Um, or I will use a pencil for something. Let's see. Can I find a pencil? I know I have some. All right, here we go. This is Winter Garden. I'll do it on camera so I'm not just saying words. There we go. Pencil is useful for something. There's some pop art purple. Uh, um, well, we might see that one soon. I think I might have ordered that one. I told him to get a purple, so... Yep. That's, if I have a pop art, art purple, that's Audrey's fault. I miss the FC show and tell? No, no, no. I haven't done that yet. Well, you didn't, you didn't miss anything, uh... Uh, Robo Jim, it's still me, and I uh, I got an ink for free, so I'm going to say that Pop Art Purple is a free one. This is Cathedral of Learning Panther Blue. Uh, 42, story, 42 stories, good number of stories. Limestone and steel Gothic Revival skyscraper, the Cathy, functions as an academic and administrative building for the university with offices, labs, and libraries. Hmm. Oh, it's also the meeting place of Nick's maternal grandparents in the 40s. Well, that's a nice little story. That is nice. All right. Missed the stories? I don't know what stories you're talking about. There were no stories. We don't have stories here. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like a very purpley blue, a blurple, some might say, Audrey. Ooh, that was almost on the desk. It's gonna be unusual, but that'll work. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty dark blue, kind of blurply. Uh, but I dig it. I don't know. What do you think? In real life. It looks like a nice royal blue. Yeah, royal blue, huh? I'm not 100% sure what royal blue is. Is that a purpley blue? Um, royal blue is one of my school colors. That's why I know about royal blue. What else do you know about it? That it's blue. Great. And it was a blue for royalty. Oh, well, then it probably does have a purple cast to it in real life. Uh, let's put this up here. Let's put these over here where I'm we can see helpful. them. Sorry. You're super <laughs> helpful. Things. Nothing Wait. important, but... Look at you knowing things. Stories for pen shows after dark and require adult beverages. <laughs> well, sometimes, yes. Let's see. Royal du Blue is a dark blue that leans ever so slightly violet. Well, there you go. All right, here we have Luma Park Marmalade. Oh, yeah, that's right. I went for the yellow. I totally forgot about that. I wonder who picked this one out. Me. I picked it. Yeah. Um, you don't like yellows on? Is that what you're, is that what you're inferring? No, no. Oh. I'm just stating that, you know... Or what you wouldn't have picked a yellow that it's not that surprising that it was you that picked that one. Oh. all right this on here that's a that's a pretty nice looking yellow actually it looks like it might actually be marigold. legible yeah i'd buy marigold wow it just changed like what? drastically the lighting <laughs> it oh. brightened up weird i yeah. don't know why or it was kind of the washed out blue, like Pelican 4001. Hmm, I don't know. Spaggles. This is a great time to say you stop drinking again. No story times in Dallas. Stop drinking again, David. What is this? You cutting weight or something, man? Trying to be healthy? What is this? 
It's a great yellow. I a second to realize who that was. I was like, who's that? Forgot <laughs> it. Yep. I forgot to write down what this was. This is Scraggles. Shush. Scraggles. They named one after Scraggles? That's amazing. Thank you, Birmingham Pen Company. Yeah, well done. Although naming it after our dog. Okay. Here, I'm going to hand the empty ones to you so you can put them back in the box. Cool, 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 cool. Putting them back in the box is a waste of time. Oh, well, they say, hi, Scrags. You listen to dog now? Yeah, there's a dog. How's Audrey doing after the rush yesterday? I don't know. How are you doing after the rush yesterday? Oof. You know, got got home late. That's for sure. You did, for sure. This is uh, Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple. So if you're looking for that, Andy. That's what we're getting here. Andy. <laughs> Andy. Yeah. A little purple here on this paper. Well, <laughs> that didn't work out. Sometimes inks just don't want to. <laughs> they don't want to come loose. They don't want to get on the metal. All kinds of things. Just kind of even that out a little bit. Good enough. Oh, uh, it looks like <laughs> it looks like black or something on the screen. Sorry, y'all. It looks way better than that. It's definitely more purple. Way more purple in real life. I'll show you on the big camera here in a sec. It's boysenberry-ish. Boysenberry, you say? Look, I don't know. I yep, like... nope, I'm sticking with that. There she is. It's me. There's the... There's the purple. It's a very nice purple. Yeah. yeah. That looks purple on your screen? Cool, it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look all that purple to me on mine, but... Screens. Screens, man. Screens. It's a cute top, Audrey. Well, the rest of me would show that it's a dress, but thank you. Yeah. I always wear dresses. I I don't wear them to work, so on Fridays, I wear dresses. They actually have a boysenberry? Well, look at that. Oh, well, never mind. That is not boysenberry. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's Warhol purple. Warhol pop purple. There we have uh, Kier Refinery Petroleum. Oh, it's, it's not really a... Teal. Yeah, I'm not really sure what color this is going to be. It might be kind of uh, tealish. Uh, it looks like a real dark, real dark blue. See, when I think of royal blue, I think of something like super dark blue. Mm -mm. But what do I know? Not about royal blue, that's for sure. We just learned that. That's true. Yeah, this is a super dark blue. I think it's, I'd say even a blue black, maybe. Yeah. Let's get it on the screen. Good job, Mike. I have a lot of apparatuses in front of me. You do. <laughs> Petroleum tealish IRL because all the petrol themes inks are in the teal family. Got to pick it up for the Fordite pen. What's a Fordite pen? I don't have a Fordite pen. So the Kier Refinery, Samuel Samuel Kier erected America's first commercial oil refinery near downtown Pittsburgh. Um. Intermittent contact with Edwin Drake regarding his oil well experimentation, and he shipped crude to Pittsburgh from Tartant Tarentum. All right, cool. We're getting behind, Audrey. Oh, look! I didn't know I had a job. I told you you had I a come, job. I come here to talk, get off topic. Ah, that's pretty much it. You come here just to drag us off topic, I do, huh? Yep, and that's me. Uh, the, the Jess likes Curie Refinery a lot. What's the Jess? Kaveco Petrol, have Lamy Petrol in the Fordite. What is a Fordite? What are you talking about? Enjoy listening to the podcast of you, Audrey. Oh, they liked your podcast, Aww, Todd. Thank you. I've seen it? Fordite is a paint over spray from the Ford factories. Oh, how about that? Uh, I don't know. I don't think this can... This doesn't look teal to me. It looks... Well, I guess it's as it dries... It's peacocky. Peacocky? Darker. I don't though. think we know it. I don't think you know what a peacock looks like now. She's giving me a stare. I don't know. I don't I know. I said darker. Yeah. Yeah, way darker than a peacock. I think of peacocks as being like emeraldy or something in the green bits. Everyone seems to have a, pe a petrol. Yeah, that does seem true. It's a, it's a neat color that's coming up a lot. Satin peacock blue, premium matte. Well, it looks like the same. Yeah, it does look like the same color as this uh, this picture on her phone. I think of Peacock the bird, so I'm thinking of this thing right here. 
And that thing and this are nowhere near the same. So, there. I mean, look. The first thing that came up was something that looked like what I was showing. That's true. Uh, so this is Pittsburgh Bankers Ice Rink. Uh, one, of the, one of America's original hockey clubs, the Bankers, played from 1900 to 1909. Well, that's not a very long term as a, as a, as a club. Began as a group of men employed by local banks that enjoyed the sport and created their own private league. That's fun. All right. Last one here. DM me some Fortnite info. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> All the petrol is next to actual petrol. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they mean by petrol. So, like, when I think of petrol, I think, like, the British are talking about gasoline. And gasoline's kind of kind of clear. So, I don't know what this color is supposed to actually be like, but... There you go. A little more. A little more here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, this is a very nice uh, dark blue. Full on dark blue as compared to like petrol. I like Diamond Twilight. Yeah, a bit like that, I think. I haven't used Twilight in a very long time. This is uh, Bankers. Cool. I'll go back and actually put the names on the top later on. I only have one dip pen, and uh, it's it's this one that I got from our very own Jesse Coles. But uh, uh, it's a very nice glass dip pen. But man, it is a bear to get the ink off of this thing when you want to move to the next ink. It's just it's so hard to rinse the the ink out of there. So it's it's a bit of a chore. So I'm not doing it right now. I will do that later. Aqua says chirp. That's good. On the screen, it looks like they're all bluish except for the yellow. Um, I mean, yeah, so this one is definitely way different than all the rest. Yeah, they do look kind of bluish, but yeah, there you go. All right. So there's an Audrey. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh-huh. Falling down on the job again. We're going to do it, you. No, it's too late. I already did it. Well. Let's see it goes over there. Cool. I did... At least half of them. You did half of them? I said at least half. All right, that's good. That's good. There's a little sheen on that one. Let's see. That one. A little sheen on this uh, this cathedral blue one. Tiny bit of sheen on this Andy, actually. A little, a little bit. bit of, like, I don't know, bronzish sheen in there. Uh, that one's still way too wet. This yellow has dried to a very... Looks like it's going to be a very readable yellow. Here's what they are up here. I think I get better color recognition from that camera for some reason. Don't know why. And then petrol. Being all... Dark. Being all dark. Yeah, I guess like a real dark teal. I don't know. Teal's one of those color families. I'm not 100% sure what it's like. I don't know. It's a combination of blue It's like green. blue and green, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So there's that. Can you pair the yellow Ackerman DM number three? I don't think so. Um, can you grab my yellows right there? They're on top. Oh, I might have. Mm, holy crap, it's right there. It's literally, it was literally on top. So I do have that one. Let's see. Look better on this camera? Yeah, they do. It's my favorite yellow so far. It only comes in the giant bottles. Um, what do I do with them here? There. What am I using for a desk cam? I'm using the exact same camera as I'm using for the rest of this. It's um, uh, Logitech something, I forget. Whatever that super popular like Logitech is that everybody uses, basically. But exact same exact same uh, camera. I don't know why one of them gets better color than the other. Yeah. There you go. Ackerman DM number three. Gail, yeah, look. Let's see. <laughs> Can't find the camera now. There we go. Yep. Pretty close, actually, Sarah. Yep. Pretty close. I don't know. How do they look in real life? Whoa. Those are... I'd say they're darn near identical. Yeah, it's hard to say because the Ackerman has a little bit more red on the edges. Mm. Um, and the swatch, the way they swatched is a little different because there's not... It just... Mm -hmm. Is a thin layer across, and this one shows some lighter bits. So I'm not 100% sure if when you write with it, if it's... Yeah. This looks... The new one looks a little more opaque, but maybe not. 
or richer. I yeah, guess. more saturated. Thank you. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm yeah. using nail polish terms that don't apply <laughs> to ink, but yeah. Yeah, but pretty close. We'll see, but very, very close. So yeah, you might get a little more more shading on the Ackerman, but this looks like it's going to be more saturated and solid. Yep, uh, I think that is right. Well, there we go. And there's Audrey's favorite yellow, the Papier Plume yellow. It is. Very which is different yellow. A yeah. very different yellow. Yeah. It's like daisies instead of marigolds or yeah. something. Yeah. Stick that back over there for me. Thanks. All right. Oh, I showed on the stream last week. So you knew I had it. Fair enough. You oh. remember last week's stream? Wow. I immediately don't. I mean, they could have theoretically just put it on before this. Yeah, I guess. And they're like, oh, let's see. I missed last week's or something. Sarah's not doing that. Oh, I didn't see. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Ackerman has more dynamic range, to use a photo term, says, <laughs> says Jim. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Both. Petrol gasoline is clear, as in the U.S., but a few years ago, Lamy did a petrol ink yeah. and also a pen. Yep. Yeah. I've got a, a few bottles of that, actually. A studio? Um, they did a um, an all-star um, safari as well. Yeah. Uh, sort of a green-blue. It looked great. Yeah, that's right. That's... But I don't know why they call that petrol. Like, it doesn't look like petrol to me. So, I don't know. Sarah Maybe says she's... unrefined or something? I have no idea what that would well, even I have look. no idea. That would just I... be oil, right? And that would be just... Maybe with a certain extracted process. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, Sarah says she uses nail polish terms and ink terms interchangeably. She calls Sailor 123 a multi-chrome. The... Yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Aviation fuel is slightly blue. Agriculture uses uses as red. Yeah, I knew, like... Like agriculture, like diesel and stuff was red or something. It's a Euro thing. A bunch of cars came in petrol blue at one turn point and BMW had them. Hmm. Well, cool. Weird. Where's our phones? I don't know where our phones are. <sighs> USPS. It's not Dropping. USPS. It's UPS. Oh, that's what I meant. USPS always drops the ball. This time, I don't expect it. They're doing fine. Calm down. Half hour. I want my phone. I want my phone. You're not going to be able to play with it. You'll be on here. Hmm. I'm going to look at it. Hold on. Let's look. Follow your delivery. There you go. All right. The sheen is on gas and it's on the ground. It's a bluish sheen. Yeah, I'd buy that. No, it's saying by the end of day. It's saying by end of day? Well, it's whatever. They're like right there. Yeah, they're in the mm. middle of town, and we are not in the middle of town. And I'm using the term town very loosely for... <laughs> it is a town. It is a town. Ish. Anyway, let's keep going. We gotta do stuff. Well, you're the one that dragged us off topic. I did. I'm disappointed. I just want my stuff. Let's see. What phone is coming? Oh, we're getting uh, new Apple phones today. Evan says U UPS del delivered their phones separately today. I hope they don't do that to us, too. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Give you a lot of anxiety if the other one was lost? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Let's see. Color Lab, teal versus petrol, says Jim. What do we have here? Between blue and green. Hmm. Origin of the petrol color name is unclear. Term may uh, term may origin hmm originate from petrol derived compounds which are often blue. Who knows? Cool. So the answer is I don't know. <laughs> New iPhone, new FC nib, live in large. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't pay for the pen and I'm not keeping it. It goes back with Audrey yeah. on Monday, so. This is just to show. Yeah, just to show. All right, well, let's go ahead and look at that then, huh? So, this is the new pen from Franklin Christoph. It's the 55, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, and this original, like, uh, what does he call it? Um, IPO, initial pen yeah. offering. Uh, it comes in antique glass, which is what this is, that uh, what people call Coke bottle, and they definitely don't. <laughs> and then it has a uh, black end here, black section, black cap. It's a number five nib. And uh, you said it's the same section as the 45, right? And 45 long, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, the cap is very different to all the other yeah, Franklin Christophs. Yeah, every other part is different. It's got the same, it's got all the same, like, Franklin Christoph stuff. Like, it's got the Franklin Christoph clip. It's got the bevel and the cap that they always have. You can see there the in the reflection. It's got the engraving. I really like this engraving that they've gotten. Some people 
have com- don't like it. They think it's wrong. Yeah, it's just the way it was supposed to be originally. So. Yeah, the machine was messing up before, and it's always supposed to look like this. And I think it looks really nice this way with the sort of yeah. hollow look. Reminds you of the Visconti Inkwell? Yeah, it does have the same color combo as the Visconti Inkwell. It's like clear in the middle and black on the ends. That's true. Um, let's see. Your 55 will be there on Monday, Jesse. Wow, mm. cool. It's a handsome pen. I agree. I actually didn't... Um, uh, I didn't think that it was going to be, um, you know, as good looking. I, in the pictures, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. And it's the same, it seems like it was sort of divided. Some people were like, eh, I don't know about this. And then some people liked it. But I think, I was sort of dubious in pictures, too. Well, I saw, okay, I sh- should say, I saw it in person first. And then I saw pictures, and I was like, oh, I like this better in person. So, I just think it's one of those things that doesn't translate as much. So... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Evan asks, uh, is the intention in the future that 55s will all have the two-tone barrels? No, right? Or at I least not necessarily? Not necessarily. I mean, you could. We, you know, we could have it the same color and just do a... It would look more like a traditional... Yeah. Traditional fountain pen. It can be that way. Yeah. I think they'll probably be two-tone mostly, though. Like that's and it's kind the of Pentium, a... I think it is? Yeah. Because it's, it's like... five parts. So. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not five parts. It's the duality of the the things and the double fives. Oh, is that what you said? Yeah. I didn't, even, I didn't have time to even read the page. <laughs> you didn't even read the, you didn't even read the ad copy? Uh, I looked at the FC stock room. They're all sold. No, they totally they, are. Yeah, they sold out in less than a half hour. It was, yeah, it was under a half hour. Because you sent me a text when they yeah. put them up. And then you sent me a text when they sold out. I'm like, well, that was like 25 minutes or something. Yeah. So there were but, only 50 of them, but there will be more. Yeah, they're making more next week. So Yeah, so as far as comparisons, like I really wanted to have one of these in hand so I could sh- like see what the size was. It's kind of hard to yeah. tell when you just yeah. have the pen. Um, so this is the 45, the original 45. I don't actually have... Um, Jim, I'm sorry. I forgot to bring the 45 long home. I know you mentioned it. I just forgot it. Um, yeah, I don't have a 45 long, so this is the regular 45. Let's go ahead and use a pin rest because we have those. There's those. And then I need one more. There, and this is the 46. Let's put it over here. This is the 46. So it's about the same length. Well, maybe exactly the same length as the 46. A little bit slimmer, perhaps, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Sandra will have one of the hubs. A 45 long. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 sure. Oh, you want me to take some pictures of it? Yeah, I'll try to remember to do that. I like the look a lot. It's not your color. I'm excited to see future colorways and prototypes. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Uh, also, oh, yeah, is the rear body screwed on or glued or what? Yeah, so that was my question, too, and the answer is that this does not come off. This no, is like... It is gonna stay this is a nearly indetectable seam like i can yeah. i can feel the difference but i think it's just because the two different plastics feel slightly different what just happened oh <laughs> my firefox changed because this pack of color rings just fell over on my mouse and changed oh, is that what it was yeah it like clicked a button for me <laughs> so um yeah so no this this is sealed so you can eyedropper this one yeah let's see what's on the inside Make it uh, eyedropper proof. Yeah, yeah, no, you can definitely eyedropper it. That's um, that's part of the intent, and it's gonna hold a good amount, good amount of ink. That um, does this fit in there? Oh, it does. Yeah, that's that's that deep. So yeah, it'll hold a good amount of ink, I think. And I think it'll look nice, kind of sloshing around there in the in the barrel with the black end. Yeah, so. and I think the thing is that Sky didn't want to have one that looked exactly like a regular small ink window he wanted something that was a little bit different you have different options yeah big ink window uh it posts really nicely but it also you don't need to yeah i wouldn't post it let's see personally. i think it's about as long as the 45 it's a little shorter actually than a 45 when it's posted yep. but there it is unposted so yeah i i don't need to post this to, to write with it but you can it posts very nicely and securely this has a nice bevel on the cap let's see if you can yeah, that's what makes it sort of flush to the Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's there's barely any uh any movement here, any like increase for the cap. You have a little bit of a step on the inside, but you know, no more than you do for a 45. So. 
yeah, pretty cool. Here it is with the, there it is posted. Uh, the cap is pretty light. Uh, I think I like it better unposted though. The, yeah. yeah. There's a little bit too much weight back here, maybe. But I bet if there's ink in here, maybe that would that make the difference. Yeah, maybe. If you eyedropper it. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I hope to get, I'm going to have to get my hands on one of these because I like it. It's pretty cool. And they're what, 130 or something? It's 135 IPO price, so I'm not sure what yeah. the, the real price will be. Uh, let's see. BSB, vape, don't, don't vape ink. Just process you have a pencil and you're using it to write things earlier. I do, actually. Funny, uh, funny enough, it's a Franklin Kristoff pencil. <laughs> no. uh, it's the only pencil I had around. I actually have some... Um, Black wings. Thank you. I have some Black Wings that I got in San Francisco from a guy who works at Black Wing. Um, but I haven't sharpened them yet because I was going to like just take them to work and put them in an electric sharpener and Anna threatened me. So uh, Anna said she's going to send me a pencil sharpener. I haven't gotten it yet, but she said she's going to, so she's threatening to send me a pencil sharpener so that I don't do that. Yeah, I don't, I only have electric too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bulby, let's see. Uh, vaping BSB is how you end up in the hospital with one of those weird diseases. Probably. Right. Go on. You'll be on TV. Base state lung. You have blurple lung. How long is it posted compared to a posted 46? It's going to be shorter than that, I think. Let's see. Um, well, it's hard to say because the nib, one's a five and a six, they're different lengths, too. There. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All kinds of problems here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's shorter than a 46 when they're posted. But not a whole lot, but it is definitely shorter than a 46. Uh, does it have to... Uh, ones that have to eyedropper... Uh, I think you're... I think your spell check got you there at 48. Thanks, Scott, you dropped the pen. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see. Hands.exe has crashed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, jeez. You're having problems. I am having. I, woo, I almost dropped like a whole thing of this uh, on the desk. Oh, man, Butterfingers indeed. Um, yeah, so anyway. That's the new pin from Franklin Kristoff. They are making more, so they'll have some at the Dallas Pin Show almost certainly. Uh, Audrey and I are going to the Dallas Pin Show. There will be a couple of other Franklin Kristoff people there, I guess. But, I mean, you know, we'll be there too. Yeah, they're not there to see us. No. They're Nobody's there, there to see us. We're just, you know, uh, there. I think 48 is asking if a converter fits. Well, 48, if that's what you're asking, the answer is yes. Oh, yeah. Um, it takes a converter, no problem. Actually, let me throw a converter in there to see how it looks. Oh, that's a Schaefer converter. This will work. Oh, one thing I noticed is our some of the Franklin Kristoff um, converters have they're branded now. Yeah. And it fits where right below where the ink window is, you can still see the Franklin Kristoff on the. Brand. Oh, nice. No. I don't have any of those. Uh, that was not. I'm sure not planned, but it just so happened to. Yeah, I don't have any of those Franklin Kristoff converters. I might. Let me go check real quick. Cool. May. So there it is with the converter inside. And actually, the black bit, I think this is actually kind of clever, um, covers up all of the hardware of the converter except for like a little bit of this metal bit and the plunger. So you could use this and it looks just like a piston pin, baby, uh, basically. So that's, uh, that's pretty slick. So if you don't like eyedropping pins, but you do want to see ink slosh around in there a bit, this is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Ones that are brandy, you can screw the top part off to better clean them. Uh, you can do that on all of them, really. Uh, it's just a matter of how tight they are. So most converters you can take apart, like... Let's see if I can get this one apart. Yeah, there we go. You take this part, and this comes off. Yep. You just sold me the 55. <laughs> it's, look, it looks pretty cool. I like that it covers the ugly part of the converter. I like that too, actually. I think that's pretty slick. We're just noticing that the black bit at the end covers the ugly part of the converter, so you just see the like the ink bit here. Yeah, yeah, you won't see the other stuff. I think that's neat. You can tell Scott I said so. All right, okay. Oh yeah, that is cool. So, 
Jeez. <laughs> oh, it's like I've never done this before. Right here, I can get that glare a little bit off of it. You can see the Franklin Kristoff along the bottom of the converter there. Hello, those guys going off? That's pretty darn cool. Nice. Oh. Yep. Looks like if it was just like just a hair taller, you'd be able to see a little bit better, but it's definitely there. Scraggles, come on. Come on, come through. She has grass all over her. Yeah, grass. Yeah. We've asked uh, Tom Bailey, our hub master, whether the, um, the venue is going to be dog friendly. So if it is, maybe we bring Scraggles. Those of you who are uh, coming to our hub, maybe there will be a scraggly dog there. We'll see. If but. you're not, is that an incentive to go? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Drive real far. Get in your car now. Yeah. Yep. Now, let's see. See you in Big D. All right, Jonathan, come find us. We'll be there. Uh, oh, uh, does it have to be I was be like, Big D? What? Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, does it have to be eyedropper? No, it doesn't have mm -hmm. to be eyedropper. Um, I think it covers the other part. See both of you. The <laughs> skin care to exchange. I never is... think of it being an ugly part, but okay. The top of the converter? Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, I think it's kind of ugly, mostly. Okay. Yeah, but it's nice that it covers it. It should be a 66. Uh, may, I mean, oh, you can't do a 66. No, you have to do a, uh, you do a, just a 56 is what you do for that, just to make it bigger. It can't be a 66, yep. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you'll be there in six hours. I mean, Perfect. Sarah, if you want to come up here, we, we have scraggles all the time, so. Except for next weekend, where we will not. Mm, yeah, we won't have scraggles next weekend, that's true. A 69, yeah, there you go. The, the Model 56 Sextium, that would actually fit. Yeah, the Pentium and the Sextium, yeah. Yep, that's how it would go. That's how it would go. 666, that'd be too big. That would be like an extra large 66, right? That would be too big. So, Scraggles, yeah, well, maybe. There she is back here, the noble yep. dog looking out the window. She, too, is waiting for the UPS man to come and bring us our stuff. Mark, yep. Uh, let's see, what was I going to show? I did ink, I did a new pen. Um, oh, I got a new knock thing. Uh, did you want to show your new pen? There you go. Show it. Audrey got a new well, pen too. Well, I had two, but unfortunately I left one at work. So, if you have a signed card, if you get a 50, 55, you almost have me paying the same 56 now. 55, and it has a red ink in my signature on it. I was using the other one that I didn't show, which is a... Wait, which one was that? Is that the 74? I this one? Up. This is a 92. Okay, it's the 74 that I'm using to write those. And it is J Herb or Jacques Herbon. Blue, no. Rouge d'Orient? I think that's right. Yeah, and that's what I'm using. She got two new pilots in the last, like, week. Uh, yeah. She got a custom 74, which is actually identical to this one, except she has a... Okay, uh, there you go. You can show that. That's that's mine. Sure. <laughs> so she has a fine nib on hers, and this is a medium. Uh, so she got that one, and then she also got this, which is a Pilot Custom 92, which is a piston fill Pilot there. There's the... Just so happens also to be a fine. Yeah, same which kind of nib. you'll nice find. nice fine. Yeah, that's really nice. The D is more seamless, so it's Dorient. There you go. Ru Rouge Dorient. Okay, sure. Says Jim. He speaks French. Oh, okay. UPS is bringing you Nemosini pens soon. Oh, look oh. at that. He's going to write as early as the phones. <laughs> yeah, who knows. So, yep, there we go. Oh, just got a shipping notification for your new OtterBox. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm not getting an OtterBox. I, um, I just never have. I... I I get Tech 21s mostly. I've yeah, got a, as get. far as pen cases, I've got a, got a Spigen on here now, and it's okay. Uh, I don't like it as much as the Tech 21s because it's just a little bit slipperier. It's not as tactile as the other, but mm. it's okay. It's all right. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. My Wheeze pop socket. I mean, look. If you want to know about phone accessories, we know a website I, for I, that. I, yep, that's true. Uh, I know somebody. Audrey's brother has a uh, naked phone for the win. Naked phone for the broken glass is what you mean. Raw dogging for, I don't know. For the loss. Oof. Oof. It's a very expensive risk. Although this one, I guess, is matte, and so it's supposed to have a, be a lot grippier. We'll see. Yeah. But um, Audrey's brother has a YouTube channel where he... Um, Reviews small tech. 
small tech. I believe is <laughs> that's his tagline. They do small tech. Yeah, so it's all uh, phone cases and screen protectors and I don't know what phones. He has like every oh, phone. Oh yeah, he got three of the iPhone, like all <laughs> versions of it. I guess he has to if he's going to do mm-hmm. reviews for the accessories. So I'll be having those. Yeah. Probably all coming today. Phil Ripped claims his wallet. Phil claims he's been using iPhone since the 3G and never broke a screen. I uh, look. I I've never broken anything either, but uh, this last iPhone was so dang slippery that I just I couldn't. I can't hold on to it. It's impossible. And Audrey's always got lotion on her hands, so forget about it. That thing is just gonna shoot across the room like a bar of soap. That's what that will do. The glowy loopy thing on your giant ten. By the way, hi. Hey, sub girl, what's up? I didn't know you were here. Hi. Hiding in the background. All right, one more thing. We've got like 12 minutes, and then the uh, the Relay FM people come on nice. uh, on Twitch. I, enc- I encourage you to join them. Um, all the, the people you like from Relay FM, so your Brads and your... Uh... There's multiple Brads? Yep. No, it's just the one Brad. Your Brads, your Tiffs, uh, your... What are you doing? Nose, you little weirdo. Your noses? He'll Your be... noses. He'll be moderating. Oh. Uh, Julia's going to be there. It's going to be, or at least I think Tiff might be there. I don't know. Julia will for sure. So mm-hmm. um, go over there to twitch.tv slash Relay FM. That's, uh, that's this one. And they're going to be uh, streaming from St. Jude for charity. So uh, definitely go over there and check that out. Uh, I think it's worth it. Last thing you broke was a... Trio 700. I don't even know what that is, man. Oh, is a trio like the, like a Palm Pilot thing? Anyway. Uh, no, I so I, heard of him. I just got this in the mail. Wait, you ran over your phone? <laughs> Becky, that's bad for it. I'm <laughs> passing on the phone. You snuck in a little bit. Getting a new watch, hopefully. Yeah, I've still got the, I've got the four. You've got the three, right? Yeah, seriously. Um, and I'm generally happy with the four, except that it's, today it was not counting my swimming laps very well at all. So... Yeah, mine was super good, but lately it's not been, it's just not detecting heart rate properly when I'm working out. So it just stops, the calories while working out, it just gets all messed up because it's not getting my heart rate from it. Yeah. Um, so here's the thing I got, and that was... Uh, <laughs> I, told, I told you. You did. I didn't know, I didn't know Nose was going to jump on it. Um, he didn't, it was there before, so I saw it. I was going to comment on it, and then he jumped on uh, so I got a package from Knock today that I wasn't expecting at all. And I was like, oh, did Brad send me a thing? Um, the answer yes. Is, the answer is yes, but it's also yes. a thing that I forgot hadn't come yet. Um, so if you were on the uh, the Knock and Brad and Pin, Ag- Pin Addict Kickstarter, then you had the opportunity to sign up for the Burton level of stuff. And that's what this thing is, is the Burton case. There's a 2019 uh, tag down there. And uh, it's a very nice wax canvas. It does have, as you can see over here on the desk cam, it does have some nose hair on it already. Yeah. Uh, because we have a white cat and his hair is everywhere. He is the one that sheds. And so we can't wear any dark. Hey! She's attacking my backpack with a little jerk. <laughs> that was Katie. Oh, goodness. I don't want her eating my backpack. Uh, he just sat on it. Well, it was kind of sitting next to him, and then he jumped up, and so he, it caught some it caught some some spillover cat fur, probably. But also, like just walking around here, I think it's collected some. So this is a very nice like padded case. I wasn't expecting it to be that padded. The zipper is chunky, it goes all the way around here, and the inside is extremely. Gr- it's way more green than it actually looks on screen. It looks too yellow there. Yes, yeah, it definitely looks brighter. Yeah, it looks limey on the screen, like yeah. a like a key lime yeah. kind of color. In, in real life, this is day glow green. Uh, but you got pen slots, three pen slots in here. You got like a, a notebook slot. You got a bigger slot here, I guess, for a longer notebook or some other stuff. A bunch of room in the middle. Yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. I'm into it. I really like the... I really like this. It's a good... Oh, nope. Oh, it's a school it was bus. A school bus and not UPS. No, nope, so close though. We'll donate for a nose moderated stream. Nice. Uh, yes. Yeah, this is the this is the inside. He'll let anything go though. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't moderate at all. Yeah, it's still. He's like trolls. Fine. <laughs> He's like, bring it. I don't read English. <laughs> no, just saying they're like pawing at the. Uh, sorry, I'm. <laughs> I can picture in things in my head on like Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. Wax canvas attracts particles like a mofo. It does. 
It definitely does. It's not going to be black for very long. It does have a cool feel to it, though. I... Yeah, it doesn't feel like a normal... It feels softer, I guess, than what I'm used to. I think it's a real tight weave. It has to be, So, yeah. like, I think this is wax canvas, too, the Frank yeah. Christoph backpack, yeah. but it's a much, like, coarser weave. This is yeah. very, very tight, so... Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Just didn't know what to do, do with it, huh? Burton gets daily use. Love that case. Yeah, I think it might actually be really good. Um, I'm going to see what I end up putting in it. I don't really know what I'm going to use it for. I just knew that it looked cool and it wasn't all that expensive. So I was like, I'll get that. Okay. Uh, black Cat still sheds on all your black stuff. Can't win. Our Black Cat sheds a bit, but like... Well, oh, we have two of them and a black dog and I can wear white. Oh, yeah, all day. No problem. Nope, but black with the one white cat? Nope, forget yeah, about it. Forget about it. Too minty? That's eh, fair. Still waiting on yours, Jonathan? Yeah, I mean, I was waiting on mine until right now. Yeah. Your knock wax thingy feels very strange, huh? You want to see the backpack? Oh, I showed that a bit last week. Can you reach the backpack? I can. No, I mean, sort of. Uh, it's going to be a close one. Oh, she got it. Success. So this is the uh, this is the backpack, Andrew. It's a smallish backpack, but I don't have any problem carrying it. It carries like most of what I need for at least a light day at school. Maybe not like a whole bunch of backpack quick review. Okay, I did this a little bit last week, but um, we can do a little bit of it now too. I got to do a video on it, like a main video, but we'll get we'll get to it. Um, so the back, you got these straps. They're sort of webbed on the inside. There's a, uh, a luggage pass through here in case you want to travel with it. Uh, there is like nice brown leather up here at the top. Sorry, the lighting is getting weird because of the <laughs> it's it's that time of day yeah. when the sun comes in. Um, then you have at the top here uh, nice YKK zipper action with laptop compartment. He said it's meant for a 13-inch laptop, and it definitely fits my 13-inch with room to spare. So I've actually got a 15-inch laptop coming next week, I think, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know if it'll fit or not, but we'll see. We'll see. Might be a little tight. Uh, the top has a very nice padded leather handle. It's got a good amount of squoosh there. Um, anyone going to the Houston Pelican Hub? That sounds like a cool thing to go to. The main pocket only zips about halfway down, but it has these nice gussets that keep this from flopping all the way down, which is good because it's got two pockets in here. Gussets. Gussets. Uh, which is more than big enough for a phone. This is the standard... Um, uh, 10s iPhone. XS, yeah. um, you can also put like three pin pouches in here. I think it'll fit the. Let's see if it fits. A, this is the uh, rickshaw. Uh, I think they call it the EDC case. Um, yep, that fits in there. It's a little bit close, but it fits no problem. Let's see, I think a knock lookout will fit in there too. Do I have one here handy? Mine's in my purse. I've got one or two. Here's a Sinclair. Let's see, does a Sinclair fit? Mm. Mm. Sinclair fits, but it's kind of a squish. If you have a full Sinclair, it might not fit. Yeah. So that means the lookout's going to fit because it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. Um, but a fair amount of room on the inside here. Good enough for a couple of big leather bound, like, um, uh, notebook cover things that I have in there um, and then there are two pockets up here as well there's this one that has two here it's this big obviously and this bottom pocket is just kind of like for little incidentals my um, my teaching pouch goes in there it's a little rickshaw like I don't know pencil pouchy pencil sort pouch. of thing yeah. um, and that fits in there perfectly and that's just grab and go um, so yeah I think this is um, I think it's a nice backpack it's, of course, uh, wax canvas on the outside with, like, leather trim. The only issue I have with it are the, the straps are a little bit wonky. So I think they're a little bit smooth, or this metal is a little bit smooth. And so it slides if you just put it in there once and go through these. Um, so I got it to the length I wanted, and then I just put it back through the, the bottom slot again. And so I, you can't really adjust the length of the, the straps on the go, but this is, this is locked tight now, so it's not going anywhere. But that's the only um, that's the only problem I have with this bag. Actually, I really like it. Otherwise, it's the back is nice and padded. Yeah. So, you know, it's a great. I really like this bag. I think that that strap thing could be fixed maybe in the next generation of bag. But that's my only quibble. Nice uh, Franklin Christoph like Celtic knot logo here and on a leather medallion. 
Oh, it's got a bottle pocket on the side. Yeah. Not a huge bottle Not pocket. A, yeah. But Not it, huge, but it fits like um, What's it fits that? my Zojirushi just yeah, fine. It stuff. fits like narrower ones. I don't know if it's gonna take this shoot. Well, it's it's not taking this giant shoot bottle, but if you get the smaller shoot bottle, I think it would fit just fine. The but one that's more upright, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, one, it's yeah. narrower. Yeah. yeah, this is a thousand Nalgene. milliliter. This is a this is a big boy bottle, so it won't fit like a Nalgene, Nalgene yeah. or whatever. But Which, um, it fits everything else I've put in there. I think. Yeah, it's not fitting yeah. that either. It's not gonna one of these. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's the that's my super quick review of the Franklin Christoph thing. I like the bottle pocket a lot. Have to have water. Oh yeah, I've always got to have a bottle pocket. Yeah. That's that's a. That's the thing I need. This is a mess over here. You can't really see it. It's a mess. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing exists over there. There's nothing to see. Nothing to see. Gussets is like moist. No, thank you. Oh, you don't like gussets? Gussets is not a... I mean, it's not as bad as moist, but... Well, uh, yeah, it definitely fits the MVP, uh, the MacBook Pro. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Moist gussets sounds especially bad. That's true. Oh. Really helps with the tongues of boots. Yeah, it does. Um... Let's see, does a knock A5 fit in the front pocket? I don't have a knock A5. I can't tell you. Yeah. Um, I could just put an A5 in there of some kind. I think this is an A5. <laughs> this actually says A, and then it has some, like, <laughs> some Japanese character or something. I have no idea what size that is. Is this an A5? You know, I love getting these Japanese notebooks, except that I wish there was at least enough... I wish there was some English on here so I could tell what size a thing is. Is this an A5? I don't know. A5. Cool. A5B. Mm. I don't know why it says A5 and B. All right, well, we'll see if that fits. Let's take the whole thing. Let's see if it fits. This will add some, some thickness. Burton. Oh, Burton's an A5. Oh, well, there you go. Oh. The answer is it'll definitely fit. So this is my uh, Kernel Leather Goods A5 thing. Fits in there with room to spare. So yeah, no problem. We've got the Burton. Uh, the Burton's padded a bit more, a I lot think. More padded. Yeah, I'll we'll still put it. Um, yeah, fits in there just fine. You're not gonna put much else in there. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Can you put stuff. Yeah, you could put other stuff in there. It's got a little bit of. A little bit of depth, but it's it's pretty close with the Burton. It's, it's more on the tightness of the height than anything. Yeah, yeah. This is this Burton is like this exact same size as this top pocket, so yeah. um, it fits, but it's a little bit of a close thing. So, but like this it might fits take in there. a little. It might take a second to close it. It'll really be a, <clears throat> my voice. Goodness. I know you really got a frog in your throat. I do. So, yep, totally fits. There you go. All right. It's four o'clock. Are our phones here yet? No. Oh. No, as far as I know, they are not. What about my, my Tosh and Burgle lifting lighter? Um, can you hand me that bag? Never mind, I got it. Ugh. This is the bag she was Rotor chewing fun. on. she ruin anything? No? Good, she gets to keep living indoors for now. Uh, let's see. Tosh and Burgle light and glider. I mean, if that kernel fits, then this is going to fit, but we might as well just try it out. Oh, yeah. No problem. Fits in there. Just fine. How about this Galen thing? Ooh, the Galen's a close one. The Galen's, like, exactly the same. No, yeah. Actually, no problem. Yeah. So my Galen portfolio, portfolio thing goes in there, too. Yep. Everything goes in there. We are good. We are good. There we go. Probably fine. It's because there's so much crap over here. Look, man. That's true. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, what's up, y'all wonderful pin people? Hey, Jim. We're actually just signing off. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll have to chill with the family. Have a good night. See you, Andrew. Take care. A great Pelican hub. Oh, Anna, and you were hosting in Kansas City? That'd be a fun oh, hub. Oh, yeah. And the NYC hub in a few. Ta-ta. Yeah, indeed. So it's 4 o'clock. That means it's time for you to go on over to... Uh, Twitch.tv slash Relay FM uh, to uh, actually. It seems me... like they're a little late too, potentially. Well, they just posted it. Oh, thing, there guys. we go. Yeah. So go on over, tell them we said hi, and, uh, you know, 
Help them support St. Jude, because hooray St. Jude. Oh, Phyllis, you're going to, Tur to Durham? Good, we're looking forward to seeing you. That'll be great. Uh, yeah, thanks. We will try to have a nice weekend. So uh, I'm Mike, and this is Audrey, and uh, y'all think about what you put out in the world. Make it a better place. We'll see you in Dallas next week, and um, yeah. peace out. Say goodbye, Audrey. Bye, Audrey.